clear this is only so I keep the keep the pace away. <laughs> keep the, or the, the, the police away. Okay, okay. Okay, so you're the only person to cut down the culture is not wearing a rainbow ribbon. <laughs> all things. <laughs> so Richard, tell us all about it. How's it been this week? Well it's been to use a well worn cliche, very mixed because there are conflicting accounts of how much learning and listening is actually occurring amongst the bishops. Uh, I suspect that the undercurrents of covert homophobia remain very strong. Quite apart from the occasional very unpleasant manifestations of the overt form of homophobia which we've experienced at our exhibition from people who've come and uh, in our certain terms made us feel that we should not be here and that we are desecrating the good name of Christianity. Uh, but there have been many affirming messages and signs of support from uh, a wide variety of people and in all honesty some encounters which have begun to take place with bishops from countries such as Sudan who have actually wanted to come into our exhibition and have begun in a tentative, a very provisional way open up to some of the uncertainties and fears that they have about issues of sexuality. I've not given up hope if we can provide enough opportunities and if the Anglican Church globally provides those opportunities. It's a very big if. There will be some changes of heart over the years, but there's nothing on the horizon which gives me particular grounds for optimism at the moment. How have you found the week so far? Uh, it's been really interesting. We've had a whole range of different people come round and uh, speak to us, um, and a few people who have refused to speak to us, and uh, one who decided to shout at us rather than speak to us. So, but it's been um, it's, it's been really interesting, um, you know, to hear different people's viewpoints, and, and also the amount of support that uh, that is actually out there. A number of people who've come and have uh, uh, have wanted to, to share their support with us and to take our rainbow ribbons has been really good. And we've had a lot of very positive response as well to the signing of the petition uh, for the uh, two Ugandans um, who we are hoping that the government will allow to stay as they've been fleeing persecution um, in Uganda just based solely on their sexual orientation. Um, so that's that's been extremely good. Um, and then obviously we had our first performance of the Peterson Toscano show last night. Hi, my name is Peterson, Peterson Toscano. I'm an ex-gay survivor. I spent 17 years and over $30,000 on three different continents attempting to suppress and change my sexual orientation and my gender differences. Two of those years I spent at a residential 12-step program in Memphis, Tennessee called Love in Action. What I liked most about it was how it was dealing with, uh, with, with such a sensitive and such a painful issue, um, but in, in a very comical manner. So we were able to engage with the topic, um, but in, in a way that helped us to really see the issues for what they are. My name is Chad and I'll be your tour guide. The Homo Nomo Halfway House is a Christian residential 12-step program that helps men overcome their addiction to homosexuality and compulsive sexual behavior. It's gay movement uh, programs? Yes. That's so right. yes. Quite, uh, Let's give him something to yes. do. <laughs> Great. Brett likes things to film. Great. Great. Marvelous. 